In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix it when you're having difficulties signing into the PlayStation Network on your PS4. So the first thing you wanna do is go to settings. From here, we're gonna to go to account management, account information, and PlayStation support recommends that you verify your sign-in email address, as well as let's first go to sign-in ID. Now, this is the correct email, that's good news. But if this is a new account, oftentimes PlayStation will send you an email to verify it. So be sure to check that if you haven't already. Now, of course, if this is the wrong sign-in ID, be sure to change it here. It's a quick, simple process, as long as you have access to the email associated with this account. Now, let's say that's all good, fine, and dandy. The next thing I want you to do is go to settings. From here, we're gonna to go to network, and you wanna to go to view status of PlayStation network services. There's no point trying to troubleshoot this error if it's on PlayStation's end, so make sure all of these are green because it could be a problem on their end. Now, the next thing PlayStation support recommends is that you go to system software update. Oftentimes, if you're not using the latest system software, you could run into problems signing into the PlayStation network, so just make sure you're using the latest version. Now let's say you're still having problems at this point. What you want to do next is go to network. From here, we're going to be going to test internet connection and just make sure everything's running fine there. Now, assuming everything's okay, what you want to actually do is turn off your console as well as your router. So press and hold the PlayStation button on your controller, go to turn off PS4, then go to your router and turn it off. And then you want to turn it back on again. Now, PlayStation support does recommend that you actually use a cable, a LAN cable rather than Wi-Fi, as this is going to provide a more stable connection. Now, let's say you're still having sign-in errors at this point. I recommend you get on your personal computer and let's go through some things that you could actually do. So sign on to your computer. From here, I want you to go to playstation.com and sign into your PlayStation Network account, and then go back to the home screen and click on your emoji avatar, whatever it is, and go to account settings. Now, when you go to account settings, you're gonna be brought to this page. And from here, I want you to go to the security option. Now, once you select the security option, it's gonna bring you to this page where you have your sign-in ID email address, your password, security questions, everything, two-factor authentication. And I have heard that by changing your password as well as your two-step verification can sometimes fix the issue on your PS4 sign-in. So it's worth testing out if you have all this information readily available. Now, Let's say you're still having problems at this point. Another thing I've heard that actually works is for you to press and hold the PlayStation button on your controller. From here, we're gonna be going to switch user. And what you're gonna to wanna to actually do is add a new user and sign in using the PSN account that you're having problems with. Now to do that, let's go back into this account. We're gonna to go to settings. From here, we're gonna to go to login settings. We're gonna to go to user management and we're going to have to delete the user that's currently using the PSN account that is having the sign in errors. So I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna go through that whole process, but do bear in mind if you actually delete the user, you're going to lose the user's saved data, screenshots, video clips will be deleted. And if it's the primary uh, PS4 user, it will deactivate that as well. So if you wanna go through that process, you could delete this account, create a new account, from here, once you've created the new account, what you want to do is go to account management, and then you want to reactivate as your primary PS4 on this PSN account. Now, you could also go through the step of restoring licenses. I've seen people do that, although I don't necessarily think that's going to fix anything. Now, if after all of that, you're still having issues signing into the PlayStation Network, I'll leave PlayStation 4 support resources down below to hopefully help you fix the issue.